Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode one of my Terraria Let's Play. Yes, I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. Yes, I'm playing another game. Doesn't mean Minecraft's going anywhere, but I hope you guys enjoy. So I've started off by naming my character the Neocubist. We're going to be doing the classic difficulty because I don't want it to be too hard. I'm not so sure what all these things are. Um, you know what? I really do like that beard. I think we're going to go with it. Um, and we're going to have, we're, yes, we're going to have a robe and a beard. Um, our eyes will just do, yeah, random color. Oh, yes, that's perfect. A random color. We're going to create a new world. Oh my gosh, the worlds have seeds now. <laughs> okay, so this is a new update, the final update. We're going to call it Let's Play. We'll just call it that. It's going to be a large world. Classic. Uh, I want to choose Crimson. Or no, I want to choose Corruption. Sorry, I do not like the Crimson. Let's go. This is so crazy. It honestly is, guys. All right, I'll skip once it's loaded in. And here we are. This is quite an odd spawn. It looks like we're surrounded by water. Oh, no. <laughs> I only have this short sword. So they did change the short sword. Now you can hit directionally. You can see uh, my little guy here can hit uh, upwards now with the short sword. It is weird to have water surrounding you on all sides, but basically the worlds are all random, kind of like Minecraft, but that's pretty much where the similarities end, okay? This game is more so focused on combat and gathering items. There's still a lot of mining, so I guess that's very similar to uh, the trees wave now, which is beautiful. Overall, this update so far seems really good. I played Terraria, I played Terraria probably, uh, I think like 600 hours, so I've played this game quite a bit. Um, but keep in mind that I'm still not too good at it. I'm not really good at any video game, I guess. Unless it's, you know, we're talking like a competitive game or something. I just forget there's so much stuff in all these games that I've played. Um, but yeah, I've never seen a pink tree. Uh, but I don't want to break it. It's too pretty. We're going to go over here in this direction because that's where I think... Oh my gosh. Okay, these new short swords are actually really good. And oh wow. Okay, well we found our home. <laughs> I love living in big trees. They're honestly super, super fun to live in, so I think that's where we're going to call our home for now. I do plan on doing quite a bit of building in this series as well as adventuring, surviving, all that fun stuff. I'm not going to go super fast, so if you're new at Terraria, I'm not, believe me, I'm, I'm not new, but I'm going to take it slow like a noob because I don't want to, I don't know. It's the same with my Minecraft series. I don't want to finish everything you can do in the game in like 20 episodes. I'd rather stretch it out a little bit and just uh, play. Because uh, I know a lot of YouTubers cut out all the, you know, everything, pretty much, except, like, the super exciting stuff, which I get, and this series may not be for you, but... Why did I kill the butterfly? <laughs> you know, I thought it was going to attack me, because you never know. But yeah, I already have enough wood. I don't think I need to be collecting anymore, but look at me over here getting 400 wood. Alright, so let's make a crafting table. Oh my gosh. There's achievements now. Craft your first workbench. Okay. Nice. So I'm gonna set up shop, I guess. I guess I'll set up shop on top of this hill for now. So when you die, you'll spawn back where you started the world, so way back over there to the right, over there somewhere. Uh, we're gonna get in this tree. We can break through this stuff pretty easily, though. Um, there's two trees right next to each other. That's actually really nice. So we can do... Ah, uh, yes. This is gonna be... This is gonna be an incredible series, guys. It feels weird recording on a game that isn't Minecraft, I will admit. Um, but what is... Is that a gnome? I think there is a gnome in that tree. What is that? Yes, it's a gnome. If you can see it pop up for a second, he seems to be quite uh, displeased. Oh, you can't break these trees? You can't break them? Oh, you need a pickaxe? Aha, okay. Um, so it's weird because this is technically not a... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, don't, don't be my first death on the first day. Okay. So they also changed... Oh. What, what happened to the gnome? What are you doing? Garden gnome. Can be placed, said to bring good fortune. Okay, well, we're going to put the garden gnome up here then. Because I really would love the good fortune. Uh, what's in our first chest? 213 throwing knives. Nice. Uh, some lesser healing potions, restore your life, recall, teleport you home. Night owl for night vision. That'll be helpful for me since I'm recording. Some wood, some tin, and some arrows. So not too bad of a chest. Uh, the slimes are plotting against me as we speak. These new, uh, these new short swords are really good. For those of you who do know Terraria, you know that the short sword used to be, uh, well, it just wasn't, it just wasn't that good, okay? Uh, but this short sword seems to be a lot better since it has some directionality inside of it. Uh, but yeah, I really am excited to be on Terraria. This is really cool. And these slimes, oh, there's a pinky! 
Okay, so the pinky is really rare, and it gives you a ton of money. I do know that, so I'm going to go over here and try to get the pinky. Um, you can use your money to uh, buy things from NPCs, which you have to create houses for. Um, so kind of like good villagers in Minecraft, but you have to build the houses, and then they'll just sort of randomly move in. Um, the pinky may not be that easy. You can see it has 150 HP, so um, it may take a cool minute to kill, but it'll be worth it, I promise. And we're only doing dealing two damage. Look, there's lilies on top of the water now. And there's ducks. I don't know if there was ducks before. Okay, this is... Oh, man. Okay. Well, there was ducks. <laughs> okay, this short hurts. It's useless. It's going to take so long to do that. I don't think it's ever going to... I don't think it's ever going to happen. Now, I didn't look in that chest that we just discovered because I was too distracted by the pinky over here, which is seems to be chasing me somewhat now. Um, an herb bag. Right click to open. We got death, death weed seeds, moon glow. That doesn't, death weed does not sound good. Sounds like the kind of thing you want to avoid. Why would you, why would you give me that in seed form, man? That, that doesn't sound great. Oh my god, I'm so terrible, dude. I'm so sorry. If I die to slimes, that's just a huge disrespect. So, four iron bars. Okay, what is going on? Can you guys chill out, please? The pinky is almost impossible to hit with this little sword. I wanted to see what this book was. Allows collection of vine rope from vines. Plus 4% melee speed. So you can put down all of your items. Oh my gosh. This pinky, dude. I can only hit it once before it just kind of like... The, the, the knockback just hits it away. So I can tell you right now, there's a lot of new things to trigger. I don't know what these are that I'm standing on. These things. I don't remember seeing them ever. Oh my gosh. You guys are probably like, Neo, I don't want to see you fight this pink thing anymore. Please. Oh, I don't want to fight it anymore either. Well, I guess I don't have to fight it anymore. And now there's a countdown for when you can, <laughs> for when you get to spawn. It used to, you just kind of, you just die and you just wait. But now I know that it's 10 seconds. Um, so it is kind of weird to spawn like just around water. But you know what? Um, that's okay. So this dude's our guide. He can give you some crafting information. You can give him, for instance, some iron bars, and he can show you what he can craft with those iron bars. So I assume there's a lot of new stuff in here. Yeah, this looks like. Yeah, this is every item you can craft if you were to give it crystal. So there's a lot of stuff in here. There's also a lot of weapons, but we're not we're not going to look through that. There's no point in looking through that. <clears throat> so let me know, guys, in the comments if you can see everything up here okay. Um, I can increase the size of that if needed. Um, I think that it's at it's at 130% right now. So if you guys want me to change anything, just let me know. It's my first time recording on Terraria. So uh, I hope it's okay. The map, I don't really need up there anymore I, I don't really like the map um, but yes this stuff up here if you guys can't see it just let me know because I know some of you are watching on phones and it's a little bit smaller um, but yeah this is actually a really cool opportunity for a really cool house so I'm not like the best builder in Terraria it's a lot different when you build in this game versus say Minecraft because first of all there's only two dimensions um, and then the second part of that is just I've never really tried to build good in this game and I don't know why that's the case, uh, but it's the case. I've just never really put a whole lot of effort into building in this game. Uh, but hopefully that changes with this series, because this stuff looks really cool. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to enjoy doing it in here. So we need gel. Okay, we have both of those things. Thankfully from all the slimes we had, we had uh, killed. So we can put a torch up here. Um, Okay, so the thing about a house is it has to have walls, right? If you don't have walls in your house, which which you're saying, Neo, aren't those walls right there? Those are technically not walls. These are walls. So these go on the layer behind where you'd normally be placing blocks. Um, they actually go up here, if you can see. Uh, now, to break the walls, you need to craft a hammer. So I have this. I said I didn't know much about this game. I do know a good bit about it. Um, it's just that with this update and stuff, a lot of stuff has changed. So I don't want to claim that I'm, you know, some, you know, skilled player when in reality I just get wrecked every two seconds. So uh, we'll find out together how how valid my statements about having a lot of experience in this game are. So I've never had a house in a tree, um, but you know what? We're on a let's play, so we're gonna, we're gonna go big. We're gonna go. We're not gonna go home because this is our home, but we're gonna go big. Um, so it should be interesting. So it's kind of fun to place the walls. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm saying um so much, because usually when I commentate, I don't think I ever use verbal fillers. But you know what? This is a whole new series, so I'm going to say um every two minutes. That's right, once every two minutes. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm going to fill... <laughs> no, I just did it again. 
And when I think about it, it's just going to happen more and more. So I want to have some stairs over here to the left. All right, so we're going to look in our crafting, our handy dandy crafting. We have a table. That is not a stair. We have a trap door. Now that is something new in the game, I know for a fact. And I think, I mean, if it's what I think it is, that means, that means we can go up and down without a door. I'm going to assume it's too wide. Dude. Yes. They actually put trap doors in. That's sick. They stole it from Minecraft. <laughs> No, but that that really is nice. Uh, it's super handy, actually, for a lot of different reasons. Okay, so we need to get up here, and you're wondering, well, is there something you could jump on but fall down below? Yes. Before trapdoors, we had these. <laughs> these nice little, uh, I don't know what you'd call them. I actually do know what you'd call them. They're called wooden planks. Or, sorry, wooden platforms. So the only reason I built this here was so that I could build a roof on this house. Now, this house is not the best house, okay? I know it's not the best. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, because this is my first house, how I want to do the roof on this thing. Um, and so far I think it's turning out quite nicely. Um, usually my houses in Terraria look like boxes, as I think a lot of you are familiar with. Um, but I wanted to, you know, since, since I, I foresee, you know, like at least a thousand people seeing this first episode. I don't want, I, I just don't want people to, to think, you know, I mean maybe more than a thousand. I, I really don't know, okay? I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to be overly humble here. I just don't know how well. Because uh, if you're seeing this in the future, the reason I'm explaining myself so much is I'm normally a Minecraft channel. Um, I've been doing Minecraft for like six years. It doesn't mean I only play Minecraft. I mean, who could only play Minecraft? But um, I haven't experimented with other games really on my channel. So this is a first uh, foray into that for me. So uh, if you guys could show support down below, I would appreciate it. I'm not asking for a like. If you don't want to leave a like, you don't have to. But if you want to show support and you want to see more of this series, that's the way you can show me. Um, but a fun thing about myself, again, I'm saying this for the people who might be new to the channel. Um, I actually read and reply to every single comment. Or, sorry. Oh my god, I just said reply. I used to read and reply to every comment. Um, but now I actually heart every single comment. I read every comment, but I don't reply, unfortunately, anymore. Um... My channel got a little bit too big, and it made it impossible uh, to, to you know, you know, while keeping my sanity intact, reply to every comment every day. It just was too much. Uh, but I do still read every comment, because that's not too hard. And if any YouTuber tells you they can't read every comment, uh, they may just be, I don't know, bigger than me. <laughs> but I do heart every comment to show you that I've read it. So if you're ever curious... Uh, and, and you want to tell me something, put it in the comments, and I'll be sure to uh, reply. But yeah, leave a like if you want. You don't have to, but I would uh, appreciate it if you want to see more on the series. That's really the only reason I ask. I, I don't really care about the number. Maybe when I first started YouTube, it was exciting. You know, I could get like, oh, a thousand likes or something. That was cool. But now I just use it as like a feedback gauge because I know on average, like, I, I know I'm not going to get as many likes as my uh, Minecraft videos. We'll see. This could be the first video where, you know, maybe I turn... Uh, I turn a stone, turn a stone, wait, I think that is a saying, but I don't think I used it right. Okay, so we could stand on our crafting bench here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get all these walls placed while talking, and it's turning, uh, it, it's turning into something I didn't imagine, this house being. This is like the coolest house I've ever built in Terraria, and it's funny because it's my first house, and I should be exploring and gathering items, but no, I just decided to build a house. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so this first episode might be a tiny bit longer than what I plan the episodes to be. I want each episode to be about 30 minutes, um, which I know a lot of content creators don't do that anymore. Um, but I'm going to be sticking for about 30 minutes for each episode. Let's go wreck all this stuff below us. Um, I'm sorry if it's hard to see, but i got to do this. Oh my gosh. So many things. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. And I'll light up this area below us in just one second. Um, okay, there we go. Um, one thing I do want to do, I'm going to put a crafting bench down here, even if it's just temporarily, because I really need to make two doors so that we can prevent this from happening. Voila! Now you can't come in here whenever you want. Oh no. Oh no, you flying thing. Well, maybe the, well, no, the flying things can't. You just flew in before I built the door. Okay, come here. You demon eye, come here. Let me get you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you. I can't get it. <laughs> I'm almost getting it. There we go. One more jump. One more jump. Okay. Cool. Um, so the zombies on normal mode, which I'm on, can sit here and hit the door. Uh, but they can never actually open it, which is kind of nice. Because otherwise, that would be really uh, 
disruptive, you see, to my building. But yeah, these new short swords, they're really good. Let me know in the comments if you played Terraria before this update, and let me know if you like the new swords, because I am a huge fan. Um, not all the swords are changed, just the short swords. Because used to, uh, people avoided them like the plague. They were not very good, but now, they're good. Okay, so we got some more healing potions. Recalls are good for uh, before you have a magic mirror. Increases mining speed by 25%. We should probably put that on and go mining. I think that's a sign. Okay, so I think since uh, these both these trees had a chest in them, that's actually super helpful because that means I can come into my house. Um, and I wanted to see about some stairs, but I don't really know. I know you can craft stairs, but where are they? Maybe not with the stuff I have. Uh, well, okay, you know what, that's it's not a big deal, and I do I do recognize on the roof it's kind of messed up. Uh, but I do not want to have just this weird thing. I was planning on putting stairs there, but I don't know if I have them, so... The, you know what, that's good enough. We can walk up it, we can walk down it. Couldn't be better. Uh, I'll put some torches down here as well. Um, so we do have those tiki torches. I'm not sure exactly what their use is just yet. Uh, but hopefully it's something good. I can't put a torch there just yet. Okay. Either way, this house looks pretty cool so far. Let me know what you think. I'm not a, I'm not a big builder in Terraria, so that I'm kind of proud of this. I know it's probably not something to be super proud of. But for a first night house, you gotta admit, it's decent. Ooh, did you guys hear that? That was a falling star. Um, so if any music is too loud or anything's too quiet or whatever, just let me know. Again, this is my first time recording Terraria, but as you can hear, the music's a big part of this game. And it's just, it's just like some of the best game music, just kind of like how Minecraft is and Halo is, where like the, the soundtrack is just recognizable anywhere. Uh, I think at least. It may not be the case for everyone. Okay, let's, let's, let's get this guy and this demon eye. Man, these short swords. I, I know I keep talking about it, but it's just like, you always spawn with a short sword in Terraria, and it always was terrible, and your goal was always to f get something better than it. Oh, you see over here? You, do, do you see what I'm looking at? Juke! I did not juke them at all. Um, but do you see this? A fallen star? I know it's dark and you can't see, I apologize. But this fallen star is very important. Um, especially for me, since I like magic weapons. So there's different classes of weapons in Terraria. There's magic weapons, there's uh, sh swords, spears, short swords, throwing weapons, uh, spawner weapons where you can like spawn like minions and they attack things. Um, I'm probably forgetting more. Um, but either way, fallen stars are used to get mana, so you need to get three of them, and then you can combine them into a mana star. And, uh, that increases your mana over here on the right. As you can see, I have 20, and I have 100 health, which is easily increased once we go underground. Uh, but for right now, I'm just kind of defending my homestead from all these mobs, because... Well, I attempted to defend my homestead. That's, that's lucky. So right next to where I spawned is two fallen stars. And we have three, so we can make a mana crystal, which we then click. And now look, we have 40 mana. Isn't that nice? I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. So your torch doesn't work underwater, unfortunately. I'm sorry, it's dark. Eventually, we'll build some sort of dock system above that so we don't have to walk in the water. Or we can just drain it to the underground. Either way works for me. Okay, this, this demon eye is catching up on me. I don't think I'm quicker than it. Okay, well, it missed. It whiffed that shot. Come on, hit me again. I bet you can't. Always oh, trying to get in front of me. Ha, door. Okay, so I'm going to go down in this, and I'm going to see what's down in here. So when you die, you don't really lose your items. You just lose the money you have, uh, which is over here. So I have 18 silver coins. You lose, I think, like half or three-fourths of it. I really don't know. I also shouldn't be uh, missing all these ores. These are kind of important right now, seeing as how I don't have any armor. Um, oh, to solve the uh, no armor problem, watch this. We're gonna make a crafting table, a little impromptu crafting table. You guys know how I am about those. And we're gonna make some wooden armor. Is it terrible? Yeah. Is it good? Give me a second. No, it's terrible, <laughs> but it's it, it's a good starter armor for sure, because unless you have a bunch of tin or something like that, you're not really going to be getting anything better at the beginning. Um, so this is tin. There's a bunch of different ores in this game. There's iron ore, tin, gold, palladium, which is hard mode. So this game is huge, right? It's there. There's like a mo There's a boss you defeat, which is like the halfway point in the game. I, I don't even want to get it, get started on that, but this... Nice little dungeon. There's tons of dungeons underground. The cave systems in this game are like second to none. 
Uh, they are like the best randomized caves you've ever seen. They're awesome. So I'm really looking forward to exploring those. Uh, I'll just put a little platform down. And uh, these pots are good to break. They can contain a variety of things. Uh, we already have one of those. Garden Gnome, what are you doing? Will you please quit? So as you can see, we're getting a ton of like potions and stuff like that. We have a spear now. So I'm going to move this over here. Uh, so this is a different kind of weapon. You can see it's a little bit uh, longer reach than uh, our previous weapon. Some grenades. Those are good. Uh, they have 60 ranged damage, which is very good for us, seeing as how we don't really have anything so far. But we do have a house, which is something notable for the first, uh, for, you know, your first new world, okay? Uh, your first house is always important, whether it's Minecraft, Terraria, whatever game you're playing. If you can build a house, your first one is always going to be special. So we'll do a little bit of spelunking just to give you a taste of what's going to come um, in this series. So let's go. Okay, well, this cave was a bust. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how amazing the caves are and the first one I find is just terrible but that's okay that's just the way it goes I mean these these worlds are random keep in mind they're not like a set thing as you can see that apparently there's seeds now which you saw my seeds so if you want to play on this world feel free I I do not mind at all if you want to play along with me you can you want to live in a tree house go right on ahead um, but yeah thank you guys for clicking on this who are from my channel and only normally watch Minecraft I appreciate you guys trying to uh, broaden your horizons of content you might watch in the future it does it, it it does mean a lot to me because you know being a content creator for the same game for so long it, it, it does wear you down a little bit um, but I'm happy that I'm actually playing another game on my channel because that's gonna help me more than I think you guys know um, I still enjoy Minecraft and I've still been enjoying the current let's play we have um, but I have been itching for something new, and I think this will fulfill that need quite nicely. So we're going to go in this one and see if there's anything in here. These giant trees are really awesome early game because you can get a ton of nice stuff. So it looks like there's garden gnomes in them now. I don't know if those were there before or not. Um, I really, I genuinely don't know. Oh, no. Oh, this spear, though, is pretty good. Nice. Okay, what is this? Does this allow us to... Living world, living wood candelabra. How am I making that? Oh, I see. So this thing right next to us allows us to craft all these living uh, items. A leaf wand, which consumes wood and places leaves. So we can actually modify our house with that. It's really nice. You can place those leaves that we could only break before. And this consumes wood and places living wood. So the wood we were breaking, you know, with the pickaxe. See? It all connects. It all connects. That's super cool. Um, but yeah, seriously though, thank you guys so much for joining in. I know this is different, and uh, I'm sorry uh, for uh, not uploading Minecraft today, but you know what? It's going to be okay. It's all going to be good. All right, let me get up in here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so what this living wand allows us to do is we can literally take the wood that we have in our inventory and uh, we can place these nice leaves in it. So let me get on the ceiling, which we don't have a we don't have, currently we don't have a way to get up there, uh, but we can change that. But like, look, see, I can place that same kind of wood that's over here, um, which means over here I can kind of actually connect it with the proper wood type. Uh, so this living wood wand, look at that. Uh, so we could technically replace all of our floor, which I don't think I'll do in this episode, but maybe in the future. Okay, so let's make another trap door. Which, by the way, is the coolest thing I've ever seen added in Terraria. That's, like, my favorite thing ever. Uh, can we not craft one? I don't think I have the materials for it. And, I unfortunately, I don't remember what it is. So, we'll just build a little hole up here for now. Let's go ahead. Let's, yeah, we'll take care of this slime. So, this stuff right here. Um, yes, the leaf wand. We can place these leaves just by having wood in our inventory. So I'm going to replace all the ceiling wood with the living wood. I think that's going to be a whole lot better. Uh, but I'm going to do that off camera because it's not going to be the most fun thing to watch in the world. Uh, so give me two moments and let me replace all this wood with living wood. Okay, so I'm almost done with this. The reason I'm doing the living wood is because the leaves connect with it. Um, I also just watched some of the footage back and I'm worried that it looks weird and choppy. So I do apologize, but I'm... Again, I'm new at recording Terraria, so if I have to change recording softwares or whatever, I'll, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I am. I do apologize because normally my content isn't like that. You can go watch my Minecraft videos to verify. No, but my, my content usually is. A, I try to keep it at a pretty good quality. 
Uh, but for some reason, I think that Terraria, and it may just be because the game was still open, um, so that is probably a big factor. Um, but let me know how the video looks for you guys. If it looks okay, then I'll just continue on recording it like this. But if it if it does need a little bit of fixing, I can uh, I can do so. It's not too hard. So I will put platforms right here for now because I don't know of another solution. Um, but yeah, all these leaves are just going to be filled in like this. I feel like it's going to look a lot better um, if the leaves are filled in. Just because... Oh, we ran out of wood. So it actually uses wood to place the leaves, which is kind of funny. Um... But yeah, it's been a good first episode so far, I'd say. We have a nice house, which I usually don't have for a while. Um, we have these living wood, world, living wood candelabras. And I wanted to put a few down. Um, but I'm not sure if they can go on the wall. No, they have to go on the ground. Oh, those things are so cool. Nice. Okay, so actually, you know what? We could make a table, I think, pretty easily if we had wood. That's right. So I do want to upgrade my tools soon because these tools are terrible. They're copper. Um, and you know what? That's okay to start with. But as you can see, it's kind of slow, right? It's, it's just kind of, I don't know. They're not that fast. So I do have acorns. I need to be planting these trees back. Do not let me forget. And the comments always remind me, Neo, you told me to remind you to plant trees. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. Because I always do forget. And then we end up with no wood. Um, so we'll plant them right there, I guess. We'll have to break them at some point if they get kind of annoying, but eh, not a big deal. Okay, so let's head back up here. Now I can make a table, and uh, we can put this candelabra on it, and it'll look pretty pretty snazzy, I think. Let's put it on uh, Put it on right there. Can it not go in the middle? No? Okay, well, that's okay. It's not a big deal. You know what? We'll, we'll even put a chair next to it. Um, but if I put a chair here, um, it might mean that villagers will start to move into here I really don't know uh, but that that wouldn't be the end of the world it's not like a terrible thing if you have villagers move in but I'd prefer to keep this house to myself so maybe I'll remove the chair so that that so that that does so that that does not happen because that wouldn't be great um, I mean it wouldn't be terrible like I said like five times I know I keep saying that wouldn't be terrible but that wouldn't be great but that I was like dude shut up man okay so we have more of this living wood I want to put the leaves down over here uh, I was going to make like a little chest area, but that block is too high. So we'll just remove all this stuff. Remove this guy. We'll put the torch back over here. Um, like up there is fine. And then the chest will go right there. And then the chest below it will go right there. And then we can sort of have like a double stack chest area. That's perfectly fine with me. So let me do a little bit of sorting. I think I'm going to put all my potions and like bottles and stuff like that into one uh, inventory spot. Because see, I have a bunch of bottles and stuff. You're probably looking at all these items. You're like, Neo, I have literally no idea what any of this stuff is. But good for you, man. Um, I will put this living living wood uh, loom down. That allows us to make all this cool stuff like a living wood workbench. Um, as opposed to the regular one. Look at that. It's even better than the original. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so there's not really a way to get up to that platform. That's why I have these platforms right here. Um, but let me try this and see if I can make a little entrance like this. So I do not have a ton more wood. That's what I need to get. I need to focus. I need to put all my efforts into focusing so I can get more wood because right now I can't craft hardly anything. Oh, do doors open automatically now? Dude, that's sick. I was wondering why it kept closing behind me. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. I just figured it was some little uh, some little bug or something. Okay. I just straight juked that slime. I really hope this video turned out well and that there's no choppiness. And uh, if it did turn out well and there is no choppiness, then awesome. Oh, my God. Is there apples in this game now? Oh, my God. I mean, apparently there is apples. Minor improvement to all stats. Minor improvement to all stats. Does that mean I can break this faster? It even kind of drops wood as you're breaking it. Dude, I love this new update. This is incredible. Oh, man. There's so much stuff to do in this series. Like, I, I really am so excited. I hope you can feel it. I haven't felt this good about recording something in a while. Not that I don't feel good about the this normal Minecraft series I'm doing. It's just that this is something I've played less. And as you can see, our tree just grew. So congratulations to us. We're successful arborists. Okay, so living leaf wand, or just leaf wand, we're going to go up here and finish what we started. And then I think 
We should be close to 30 minutes. I know I said this episode might be long, but I'm also worried about the video quality. Unfortunately, I hope that that doesn't end up making the, the, the episodes bad. Uh, we'll see. Hold on. But yeah, I'll do everything I can to make it look good, but I hope that it doesn't have any issues. Either way, seriously guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this. I know it's not Minecraft, and I'm not going to upload it as much as I do Minecraft, but know that I still want to play other games. I'm still a human, I don't only play one thing, I'm sure a lot of you guys feel that. Uh, but yes, thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. If you want to see more Terraria, please do click the like button to let me know that that's the case. And uh, I'll be sure to make more. Uh, there will be another episode tomorrow, whether you like it or not, so be prepared for that. Uh, I'm trying to say, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, if you want to subscribe, you can. If you don't want to, cool. Either way, uh, I'd love to see you around on the channel, you know, if you want to see more of my videos. If you don't, though, it's, it's honestly okay. I'm not going to be offended. Um, but yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching episode one, and I'll see you tomorrow in episode two. Bye!